Okay, now this is a, somebody didn't appear to be, oh, no wonder, okay, never mind. Didn't appear to be uh, sure where to go next, but you, can, you do the determinant, right? If you do the determinant by the rule, you get lambda times the determinant of lambda 3, 2, lambda minus 2, plus 1 times the determinant of this matrix, and I didn't include the zero because obviously that's going to give you zero, right? <coughs> it would be minus zero times the determinant of this thing, but you know, we're not doing that because of the zero. Well, that's lambda times this minus this. It's lambda times lambda minus two minus two times three plus one times zero minus two lambda, because the determinant there is zero and negative two lambda. So that equals lambda cubed minus two lambda squared minus two lambda. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Minus two lambda squared minus six. Okay, if I expand that carefully. And then it's uh, minus two lambda. So that's lambda cubed minus two lambda squared minus two lambda minus six. Okay, so that's the determinant. Now, if this is an eigenvalue problem, you would then solve this equal to zero, okay? Because this has the form of an eigenvalue, the, the matrix you would use to find eigenvalues, right? Um, and at that point, you try to find some value of lambda, you just use the pre-calculus techniques to see if you can find a solution here. Okay? Um, and I don't see one right away, but maybe let me look a little at it. Okay, so that would be like, that's not going to work. I don't see anything right off the top of my head that works. One plus or minus one plus or minus two don't work. Um, and from there, I don't want to do the arithmetic in my head. I go to the rational roots theorem and all kinds of stuff to try to solve that. I'm not even sure I copied the matrix down right. I don't immediately see a way to factor this, okay? But that's what you would do originally. You'd try to factor it and just use, again, pre-calculus techniques. You probably want to review solving polynomial equations before we get to eigenvalues. But the questions we get are not going to be that difficult to factor, okay?